Okay, so today we'll be going over the lightsaber effect in After Effects. So I filmed this, as you can see, on a green screen. He has a toy lightsaber. Anything will work. You can even use his stick. So we're going to create a new solid, make it white. Rename it Saber. Yeah, Saber good. Let's turn that off. And then we'll mask using the masking tool. You just hit P. No, G. And mask around the blade. Or if there's no actual blade, what you think is the blade. Hit M. Keyframe, mask path. Go on frame over. And hit V. And move the point till they fit. Yep. And just keep doing this for a while. I'll do a few more just so you can get the hang of it. This is the masking method. It's the simplest. It's not the simplest. It's the most time consuming, best looking way. But you have to I'd use more points on this mask. I'm only using four. But yeah. If you want to get really detailed, you could use like 10 and have it change every frame. Let's move it over. Get in position. Let's move that one too. Okay. Let's go frame over. I'm just going to do this until we get it off of the frame. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, once we're done keyframing, looks, follows the mask. Let's turn it on. So amazing. Doesn't really look like a lightsaber now. Looks okay. I mean, we didn't do a great job of keyframing. Turn up the feather, hit F. Now hit M, M, let's go down, turn up the mask expansion, good, so now it looks like it has more of a glow, opacity at full, let's duplicate it, change the bottom one, layer, solid settings, change it to whatever color you want your lightsaber to be, okay. Hit new. Saber F. K. Turn that all the way down. Feather. Well, not all the way down. Just turn the feather down a bit. Then turn the bottom one up. Now we have this nice semi. Yeah, you can turn the expansion down a little bit on the upper one make it have more of a harder core looks good not great but good enough now there he has a lightsaber yeah now you can turn the feather up even more. For now, I'm just trying to round off the end. Mm. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, now shrink it. See, it's less round. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. Keep it there so it's a little less. But, still want that roundness. So yeah, it'd work better if you had a point on the very end as a tip. So let's see how it looks. Looks pretty decent. Okay, now the video copilot method. Click on the title, or what used to be a title, just click there, to download the video copilot presets, which are right there. See? Um, they're free. I'll give you a link to them. Just click on the thing that says download all. 
Okay, lightsaber V2. Made a cool lightsaber thing. Looks really good. Doesn't look amazing, but you have to do it good. To make it good, make solid, doesn't matter which color. The heck, we'll do black. Drag lightsabers onto it. It'll automatically change everything to alpha. See, there's a little lightsaber thing. So we're going to fit it and turn up the thickness a bunch until it looks sort of equal whoops way too much to the lightsaber that's in my friend's hand yeah he's pretty cool okay there okay Turn that to quarter so it renders faster. And we'll drag the ends. Looks good. Now let's change the color to like red. See? Pretty cool. Eh, green good too. Let's do green. Okay. Now, whoops. Okay. Let's go to the beginning. Redo that. Bring it to the places. Hit V, hit H to move it around. Doesn't really change anything, it just moves what you're viewing around. Now hit the stopwatch for the start position and the end position under the effect controls. The lightsaber's V2. Zoom in a bunch. Go one frame, you can hit page down if you have that on your keyboard. Um, yeah, you can either hit these X's, you know. This isn't working that well. Okay, you just drag things over. Whoop. Okay, there. That looks good. I should probably turn it on. See it better. But, don't need to do that. Drag it off so it looks like it's not ending right at the edge of the frame and just fade it off unless it actually is ending at the edge of the frame then you want to put it at the edge of the frame okay I'll change it back to blue I think that'll look kind of good okay looks good okay now perfecting suggestions very good very cool very cool very cool turn on the motion blur hit that Select them all, motion blur. See that little thing? That's a motion blur. All the saber layers. I did the whole thing. Um. Yeah. That's the difference. Gives it that stretched look. You might want to play with where the positioning of the points are after you're done. It'll save you some time. Now, this is what I did with all the green screen stuff on the first time you turn on key light and color correction and all that pretty time consuming way overkill I just felt like playing around cool lightning strike there looks pretty awesome yeah then I added camera shake even cool it's also a video copilot thing by the, in the presets it's called aftershake it's pretty cool You'll like it. See right there, aftershake. Drag the footage one onto your footage. You can drag the null one onto the null. Then I turned up the motion tile and checked mirror edges. Might already be checked. I'm not sure. To play around with all this stuff. It's good stuff. Learn a lot from playing around. Here's the final shot.